So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And today what we're going to be doing is building a 4K video editing machine. And so this is actually a very special one. We're going to be using our Game Dios case that we showed you last time. And so that case, I gave you a preview of all the components. And wouldn't you know, in between, uh, Linus Tech Tips came out with a... Uh, ideal 4K video editing machine and it's actually almost the exact same components that I showed you last time. So uh, I just picked a Ryzen 7 over a Ryzen 5. So pretty cool, I think. And uh, give Linus Tech Tips a shout out for me if you can. And so let's get right out into this and we'll see you, uh, we'll actually show you what we decided to make here and then we'll start building it right away. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're gonna do is open up our motherboard. We're gonna put our memory and our CPU on, and then we're going to uh, put it in the case here, add everything else. And so why I picked the different components. So 32 gigabytes of memory because you use a lot of memory when you're editing 4K video. We have a Ryzen 7, which is 8 core, 16 threads. Uh, I had a uh, Intel i7 before this, which had uh, 4 core, 8 threads. I would max that out at 100%. So definitely needed more there. We have an M.2 SATA. And so this is our memory. This is the fastest, basically, memory you can get. We have a four terabyte hard drive to save all our data. We also have a NAS where we move things after a little while. A NAS is a network attached storage. Uh, we have our power supply and for us this is 650 watts and so this should be good enough for us and this also happens to have a cool pattern on it and actually it's RGB so uh, very cool, and thank you, Game Dias. They sent this to me. Uh, then uh, let's see, we got our board, and so this is a like I said, an Asus Rock P450, and this can be upgraded to a Ryzen 3 if we ever do that. And then we have the Gigabyte uh, 1660 Ti, and so that's about it. So Let's get started. Okay, so if we take a look at this board, it has two MSATA 2 slots here and there. But what does happen is the actually has three uh, potential video card slots. But so if you put a second M.2 M in here, this one runs at eight. And I think this one runs at 4 and 4 instead of, without that second M2, it runs at 16. We're going to use all four slots of memory there. Uh, I think this does have some lights on it, but we'll see. And then we have pretty much any port we could want. Okay, so I have the memory installed now, my MSATA 2, I have the CPU installed, and I actually added the fan to, I don't know if that's a good idea, uh, but I find it's easier to, uh, you know, install it now rather than later, so I guess I just installed it now. So let's get the case and we'll start putting things in this case here. So now for us, this has a built-in uh, RGB controller, but I don't know if we actually need it because of our board. Our board here has RGB controllers. I just want to make sure that these are the same. So the fan uh, light controllers are actually different than the ones on the board. So we're going to have to use the 
a controller that is uh, on the computers or on the case here. So we'll be using that. Uh, everything else looks okay, normal stuff. Uh, just very messy at the moment, so we'll have to work on that. Uh, that might be for another day, but we're going to at least get it so it starts up today. So, Okay, so it's the next day, and so I've got this all wired up. So I thought I'd just show you a little bit of what we did. So... <clears throat> I like uh, trying to make the cases as clean as possible. And so I did a couple things here. And so this plate that was down here, I moved up here and switched these two. So now the button and the uh, all the ports are on the top here, uh, which uh, basically I have my computer down low, so this would make it easy. So how you get this case or the front off, if you're ever interested, there's like four little uh, squeeze tabs on each side. You have to do those, pop that off. And then this plate or the front part here uh, is just has one screw in each one of these. You take that out, you have to thread the cables out and then switch them and then thread them back in. Uh, during that, I did do one thing and so I did uh, break one of the wires for one of the front LEDs. I don't know which one at the moment, but we'll find out in a few minutes. Uh, the other thing we did is cleaned up all the cables. You can see that. So we can get the case on nice and easily. We have our hard drive in and there's our power supply. Basically we cleaned that all up so it's as pretty as possible. I don't know, I like cleaning up the cases and doing all the wiring and things like that. Uh, one thing I did do, which I think I mentioned before, is I punched out one of the wrong things here, so we have an open spot there. Uh, but besides that, everything sort of went well, not too bad. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to just move things around and we're going to start her up, see what happens. Okay, so let's turn this on, see what happens. So, so far nothing. Let's just make sure everything's right here. Oh, so this does have an on off switch on the power supply. I turned that on and the light went on on the motherboard. So that was the problem there. So now I'm gonna press the button again. And good, our lights came on. And so there should be two LED lights down the side here. So I'm going to guess the wire that I actually uh, broke was for these side LEDs. Uh, we need to insert a boot device. Let's restart it and let's go into the BIOS. Okay, great. So we're into our BIOS now. And there you can see uh, Ryzen 7 running at 3200 megahertz. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM and everything else looks good. And then what we'll do after this is we will load Windows and then we'll try some things out after that. So, well, we've got our covers back on and we've got DaVinci Resolve installed. And so now what we're going to do is Try it out, but we'll do that in another video. Uh, I have to rearrange my office, get this computer in there. Uh, but if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you haven't already subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.